Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sydney. I film cruelty free beauty videos all about shopping your stash and learning to love the collection you have. Today's video is going to be an update in my 25 uses project pan. I'm really excited to update it this month because we finally get to roll some products out. Um, if you're kind of new to this series, this year I decided to do a usage-based project pan versus like an actually hitting pan-based project pan. So the way this works is I throw products in, usually I keep it to five. Um, I use them till I hit 25 uses and then I roll them out and I put something new in and it's been a lot of fun so far. I feel like this month I've started to get a little bit of like product fatigue, but overall it's been really, really great. I feel like we're looking a little shiny, so let's powder it up before we start the video. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling better, let's hop into the video. Okay, so the first product that I want to chat about or products are my palettes. So if you guys haven't watched the last couple of updates or the intro, I've decided to count like two palettes as one and just get 25 uses between the two. I hate painting eyeshadow. I hate it so very much. I hate forcing myself to use a specific palette or use a specific shade. Kills my creativity, sucks the joy out of makeup, so I just don't do it as a rule. But I've found that pairing two palettes together and trying to get a usage goal between the two is really, really helpful, easy. It helps me get more targeted usage on my eyeshadow without feeling like I'm like becoming like a makeup drone, you know, like doing the same look over and over again just for the sake of hitting pan. So for the first go around, I chose my Menagerie Cut or not Menagerie Cosmetics. <laughs> this is Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels. This is Menagerie Cosmetics Feral. Between the two, I was able to use them a total of 10 times over this past month and 22 times in total. So we're just three shy of that 25. I have no doubt in my mind that I'll hit that over the next couple of days. So I wanted to bring in my new picks and chat about them with you guys on camera in today's video. Okay, so my two new picks are the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette and the ColourPop So Jada Palette. So the first palette that I chose was my Mercury Retrograde Palette and I pretty much chose this one because it has a lot of really great kind of like mid-toned matte shadows and I have a feeling that's what I'm going to be dipping into a lot in the coming weeks and months. I'm starting a new job uh, tomorrow, hopefully, um, as I'm filming this video. And while I have to wear a mask all day, I really don't foresee myself wearing face makeup. But a little eyeshadow makes me feel a little bit better, it gives me a little confidence boost. So I can definitely see myself doing that. And I feel like there are quite a few really pretty mid-tone shades in here that I could just like sloppily throw in my crease with like a little highlighter, a little bronzer on their lid, a little super shock shadow. And I feel like this is when this palette could really shine. I have a hard time feeling like super creative using this palette on its own because it doesn't have a lot of deepener shades or just like a lot of color in general. So I'm excited to get to know this palette a little bit more, use it for some everyday looks and challenge my creativity and try to create some really beautiful vibrant looks with this palette as well. So I kind of threw in So Jaded A because I want to use it some more and B I feel like this has just some more color than the Huda Beauty palette and it definitely has a lot of those kind of deepener shades that I feel like will make this palette a lot more versatile. I haven't, I don't think I've ever used these two together, but I think together they'll be really, really pretty. I also think that between these two palettes, there's a lot of really pretty kind of like neutral, natural lid shadows that I will really enjoy using. And so that's kind of why I decided to pair these two together. Okay, the next product we have to chat about, chat about is my e.l.f. blush palette. This is the powder version. I talk a lot about the cream version on my channel, but this is the powder version. And this month I was able to use it a total of four times. I feel like maybe I've used it a couple more times, but... I don't know you guys, I was a little all over the place with recording this month. Um, and that leads to a grand total of 13 times, which is not great, it's really not. Um, I'm really hoping to get some more usage out of this in this coming month. I feel like, I don't know, I just don't love the way this like kind of mattifies my cheek. I really love a good dewy cheek. And as I said, I'm really not planning on wearing face makeup on a daily basis, but maybe I can like throw some my creases blush. I said I, or not as blush as eyeshadow. I said I was gonna do that last time and then I didn't. So I'm gonna try really hard to remember to do it this time and get more uses out of this. Next product is my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Bikini Martini. I've done so well with this product, you guys. I used it a total of 11 times this month, which in total is 23 uses. Again, just two more quickly uses and then I'll be done with this product and we have a new one to roll in and I am so excited. I decided to keep with a cream blush. Um, the only categories that I feel like are really fixed are like the eyeshadow category. I'm just really kind of enjoying this as a way to rotate through my eyeshadow collection, but the rest of the categories, I didn't really set any rules for like what I can roll in or out. 
but I've decided to roll in the Tower 28 Beach Please Blush in the shade Happy Hour. I got this at the end of last summer and I remember just loving how this looked on my cheeks so so much so I can't wait to dip back into this blush and get more use out of it. I'm like I'm so excited. Okay next up we have the Pixie Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Starry Night, right? I always want to call it Starry Eyes. Um, I managed to use this a total of four times this month, which is much better than my two times last month. So unfortunately, I've only used this six times in total in the project. But when I put this in, I knew it was kind of going to be a longer term item in the project. And I'm totally okay with that. I don't really feel the need to yet like force myself to use this more than I actually want to. I really love to use this as eyeliner. So it's not really like something that I put all over my lid. But the little that I have used it, I've really, really enjoyed it. I think it just adds like a fun little pop to any look. Okay, you guys, and the final product that I want to chat about today is my Honest Beauty Primer. This month, I managed to use it a total of 11 times, which brings my grand total to 22 times, just three more uses, and I can roll this out of the project. So you guys know what that means. We're rolling in something new. And for this category, I decided to switch it up and throw in a lip product. And for that, I decided to throw in my color not my color bomb, my Flower Beauty Color Shift Lip Smoothie. I'm wearing this on my lips today. This is so ridiculously comfortable, you guys. I think it is so, so pretty. I do have a lip liner on underneath it today, so that's probably a lot of the color that you're seeing. But this is one of those, like, pH balancing lip colors, and I feel like this one does such a nice job of, like, giving my lips color and giving them life without, like, making them, like, a super bright pink, like I just say, like, a popsicle or something. I feel like it just gives the most beautiful hint of color a ton of moisture and I picked this product because a is super comfortable on the lips but b I feel like I could really pair this with a lot of different lip colors I mean I'm kind of a nudie pink lip gal so I don't really stray a whole lot from this lip combo but I think this would be a really really fun addition and something that I can easily hit the 25 uses with but that's gonna wrap up today's video you guys I hope that you enjoyed it let me know how your product plan is going are you struggling are you feeling the urge to like switch out your products which product are you enjoying using the most I think I think that's the question I'm most excited to hear your answers to I feel like I enjoyed using I feel like probably towards the end my Fenty Beauty Cream blush the most. I was really really enjoying using both of my palettes at the beginning. I created so many fun looks just using these two palettes and I felt like it really just kind of opened my eyes to the color possibilities between the two but I got really sick of these or I'm getting really sick of them. So I would say I'm most enjoying panning my cream blushes which is why I threw another one in. But that's it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up and give this... Or <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will link my previous project plan updates down below if you guys want to catch up on this series. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!